This is just a quick channel update. I want to react to some of your comments on YouTube and on Patreon. Then I will quickly introduce the next series, which will dig into monoids and group theory. Finally, I have a question for you about style and about video quality. But first, let me express my gratitude for all the kind support we received since launching the All Angles channel. Frankly, it has been quite overwhelming, in a good way. Your comments have almost exclusively been very supportive and encouraging. You have expressed your eagerness to explore higher math, to see more videos, and to be part of the journey. Your words of encouragement give us so much energy to keep going. One commenter observed that we're in the middle of a new renaissance of math and physics channels. I like the word renaissance in this context because what is happening is indeed an explosion of great educational content online. This is why after every video on our channel, we give you links to the very best of the videos and blog posts we could find out there. Don't forget to follow those links if you want to dive deeper into a specific topic. If you have any favorite online resources, please share them in the comments. What also surprised us is that many people immediately decided to start a Patreon account even after only a few videos had been published. That level of trust and support is baffling, again, in a good way. Here is the list of Patreon pioneers who decided to offer generous support to our channel. These are the superheroes of all angles and we are very grateful for their financial support. If you want to help us make more videos, you can become a Patreon supporter yourself. It's very easy, the link is in the description below. One of our earliest patrons suggested that we should make our videos available under a generous license. We agree, and so after doing a bit of research into the legal consequences, we decided to place our content under a Creative Commons attribution license. You can find the legal details in the description underneath every video. Okay, now on to the technical matters. In the videos about complex numbers, I talked about the natural numbers and the integers. In the videos, I used the phrase whole numbers for the integers. One of you pointed out that this term is ambiguous. Apparently, some people use it for the integers, but others use it for the naturals. I really had no idea. From now on, I will do my best to use the less ambiguous term, integers. Many of you complained about this particular formula on the screen. You are right that this formula is not correct. The square root of 4 is always 2, never negative 2. That's because the square root is a function, so it cannot have two output values for the same input value. By convention, we say that the square root is always positive. The point I was trying to make is that in the complex number system, there is no such thing as positive and negative, which makes square roots more confusing. I apologize that I have added to that confusion. Thanks for pointing it out. Moving on, let's have a sneak preview at the new series about group theory. There will be six videos, and the main focus will be on the amazing internal block structure that you often see inside a group. Some concepts that seem totally unrelated to groups, such as parallel lines and prime factorization, emerge automatically out of these blocks. In our upcoming videos, we have succeeded in explaining very precisely where this structure comes from, without using any formulas, just reasoning about the contents of a group table like this one. We will also look at modular arithmetic, Cayley graphs, Toy computer programs, symmetry operations, and more. We have already published the first four of the six videos on Patreon. Our channel can really use your financial support, so if you can't wait to learn about group theory, please consider heading over to Patreon and setting up an account. It's very easy, it only takes a minute. Over the next few months, the videos will be rolled out on YouTube as well. As you may notice, I have been tinkering with the color scheme of these new videos. The series on complex numbers was all red, green and blue. 
This time I decided to add more shades of blue and purple. In the comments, someone suggested that I should switch to a darker background, because that's easier on the eyes. I want to ask you all for your opinion on this matter. On one hand, I want to make the videos as pleasant to look at as possible. On the other, I hope to maintain a kind of consistency across multiple series. My original plan was to use the lighter background in the main videos and a darker one in the channel updates like the one you're watching right now. That makes it easier for people to distinguish the main story from the rest. I'd be really interested in hearing from you. Do you prefer a light background, a dark one, or some other solution? Do you care more about consistency? or more about your specific favorite color scheme? Let me know in the comments below and I will take your feedback into account in future videos. Until then I am just going to run with the current color scheme. That's it for now. I hope you will enjoy the new series on group theory. Again, please consider giving us your support by becoming a patron. The link is in the description below. In the meantime, remember to always keep learning. See you soon.